All right, I'm back with another video review. This time it's the uh, Shelby, it's the Ford Shelby Cobra Concept. Uh, this is from the 2016 Hot Wheels M case. And uh, this is a recolor. We did get it in green earlier. I'll show you that one in just a second one, but, but we'll look at this first. Uh, this was released first in 2005 as a new model and we have not seen it reappear in the main lines since 2005. It's not shown up in the main lines since it was a new model. It has shown up in a couple of other special edition releases, uh, but never again as a main line. And this was based on a concept car. They only made one of them uh, that was produced in conjunction with Ford and Carroll Shelby in 2004. Uh, so they they produced this one to uh, be kind of a reincarnation of the original Shelby Cobra, uh, and uh, this one's got a lot in uh, a lot in uh, a lot in common with that original one, but uh, this one has a lot of the modern uh, some of the modern features that you would expect in a modern supercar. Uh, this one has a V10 engine capable of producing 645 horsepower. And the whole purpose of this car was to produce a car that was really light and had a lot of power. Uh, so that's what they did and they left out a lot of the stuff that was not necessary to produce a car that was light with a lot of power. There's no air conditioner, uh, there's no radio, there's no anti-lock brakes. None of those things are are features of this car. This was produced to be a really fast car for the track. And uh, at 645 horsepower, I think it achieved that goal. They say this one's capable of reaching up to 267 miles per hour, although I don't know that it's ever been tested at that, uh, but that's what they say it's capable of. Uh, the 0 to 60, I could not find numbers on, but they have estimated the 0 to 60 time on this to be well under 4 seconds, and I would imagine so with uh, the power to weight ratio there. Um, but they only made one of these, and thankfully Hot Wheels has the rights to produce it and can produce more than one of these. So we get to see it in various colors. The original one was done in silver, and I believe that's what the first... Uh, 2000 and uh, 2005 new model came out as uh, some of the features of this it is a dual seater there's only two seats there it's a roadster so uh, there's no back seat there's no room for a back seat they left that out uh, there's a lot of room up front for an engine big massive engine there and uh, you know notice it has the hood scoop right there on the front as well as a uh, big air intake in the grill uh, headlights painted on there give it a nice touch the red racing stripes this one features silver PR5 wheels and uh, it has side vents on the side although uh, they show up a little bit better on the card art not so much on uh, the actual casting itself but that would be the side vents right there so here is the red version and now I'll go ahead and show you the green version as well. Uh, my preference is the green version. I like that metal flake green paint on it. Uh, contrasts really well with the light green stripes on it. Uh, this is definitely my favorite of the two. This one was released earlier this year. I don't remember exactly which case it was, uh, but it was one of the earlier cases. And the red one just now came out in the M case. So there it is, the 2015, or sorry, 2016 Hot Wheels M case uh, Ford Shelby concept car. Stay tuned, uh, the N case is on the way. I know we just uh, finished up the uh, MM case review. Now the next one, the N case, is in the mail and uh, we'll be reviewing it shortly. Uh, in the meantime, I plan to have a few more uh, videos of some of the releases that came out of this last M case. 
So uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this. Let me know which one is your favorite. Do you like the green or the red? You can uh, vote for it by leaving a comment down there in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Thank you.